Los Angeles is filled with hundreds of neighborhoods and there are many hidden pockets that you guys might not know about. The interest in some of these homes out here is mind blowing. And whenever there are remodeled properties that come into this specific neighborhood, they fly off the shelves, especially if they're priced right. So today I'm just gonna go over everything that there might be to know about this specific area of Del Rey. So Del Rey is a neighborhood located on the west side of Los Angeles between two iconic cities, Culver City and Venice. We've got Playa Vista to the south, Mar Vista to the north, Venice to the west and Culver City, and it does provide a unique mix of living in a suburban neighborhood between a lot of schools. So there are a lot of families, but also a lot of young professionals that wanna be close to that Silicon Beach hub. The past decade or two have significantly changed Del Rey's landscape. Once dominated by post-war single family homes, now there's a lot of newer developments, remodels, multifamily homes, apartment complexes, town homes, but those are mainly in the Playa Vista area, just south if you cross the Bologna Creek. It's for those who want to live on the west side of Los Angeles and experience all that LA has to offer while still enjoying a suburban lifestyle if you are looking to grow a family in the future, which is hard to find on the west side. Usually you'll just see condos in the west LA area or west Hollywood where it gets a lot more expensive, but when you head down to Del Rey between Marina Del Rey, which is in my opinion, maybe the ideal area to be in. It's just a little bit farther away from the rest of the city. A good thing is also LAX is just five minutes south of you. So Del Rey's housing options range from traditional bungalows to mid-century single family homes to newly built condominiums, luxury apartment complexes, multifamily townhomes. Most of the single family homes were built in the 1940s and the 1960s, but you'll see an influx of remodels that are flying off the shelves as of late. But they do not tend to go over 2,000 square feet, so you will find affordable prices in the 1.4 to $2.2 million price range. The new developments out there have been growing because it is in the Silicon Beach region, which is where a lot of the large tech hubs do have their corporate offices. I'm gonna go over a map tour of Del Rey as well as the Zillow map to show you what the homes have been selling for in comparison to the nearby areas such as Venice or Marina Del Rey where Del Rey is significantly lower in price. But things to do out there, so you have the Bologna Creek which has a bike path that's 8.8 .8 miles running from Culver City to Playa Del Rey. You'll see joggers, walkers, bikers there all hours of the day. The path offers scenic views along the creek and you have easy access to Marina Del Rey's waterfront, which is unbelievable. Some of the best sunsets and views can be seen from there. So I highly recommend you go to the very end where you can't walk anymore. Some of the schools that Del Rey offers are the Wish Charter School, known for its innovative teaching method, and St. Bernard High School, which is a private Catholic school in Playa del Rey. When it comes to dining, shopping, and entertainment, you might not see what you're specifically looking for in the pocket of Del Rey, and that is because it's a suburban neighborhood, but you are just a few minutes away from Venice and Marina del Rey, where you'll find all the upscale eateries that you'd wanna be at. And then Playa Vista just south, you have a wide range of casual food options to several different shopping centers in Playa, or go to Venice, go to Abbot Kinney, or go to Culver City, or go to Santa Monica. I mean, you really just have it all right there in this pocket. It is truly a hidden gem. All right, boom, here we are at Del Rey, as I said, between Culver City and Marina Del Rey right here. Let's just zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. Right between the Culver West area, you got Playa Vista South, the Bologna Creek, as I was telling you, separate this Del Rey neighborhood from Playa Vista. I'm just gonna drop my little guy off right here so we can do a street tour for you guys. You've got the main streets, the wide streets here, Culver Boulevard and Centinella. Which way shall we go? Let's go down Culver here. For a second, you've got some townhomes to one side, and as we keep on going, we will find a couple of restaurants, shops, beautiful palm trees, and then we'll get into some of these neighborhoods here. There we go. All right, we've got Ronnie's Diner, a staple out here in this specific neighborhood in this area. You can see some of the retail stores, some of the food options, barbershop, pizza, sushi, everything you might need and want. And this is a very unique area because it's clean. You're not gonna see streets looking this empty, honestly, anywhere in LA as well. But let's go into one of the housing neighborhoods here. So you can see there are some of the homes, a lot of single story homes. If you wanna go over 
1,500 square feet, you do get some two-story remodels. Check that one out. That's a nice modern in the $2 million range. You get a private gate and very secure streets. There's a home for sale. Another modern remodeled home right there. And then it is a mix. You're still in LA, so you got a mix of good Spanish homes here in this neighborhood on Gilmore. We're going to keep on driving down Gilmore here. You got a wide variety of options, and when these homes do pop up on the market, if they're priced right, they go very quickly. And then you do have a mix of townhomes as well, condos, multifamily homes such as these, a little bit older. Let me go down here to this area near the Northgate Market. So there you go. More homes, look at these streets. Can you imagine your family living on this street, purchasing one of these remodels? You've got the white picket fence. I mean, isn't that what most families dream of having? Then you've got another remodel right next to it. Beautiful welcome sign. You gotta know those are friendly neighbors. If you have a welcome sign that large, instead of a sign that says no soliciting, you know, that, that'll scare you a little bit. Or if it says beware of dog. You know, I used to door knock tens of thousands of doors and that uh, was always definitely a little tricky when doing that. But look how wide this street is. That's one thing that catches my eye, and then also the sidewalks are wide as well, so you can go on walks with the family, with the kids, with the dogs. Let's keep on moving down these streets here. So this is a little smaller street. As you keep going east as well, you get into some rougher neighborhoods. Now, it's not extremely rough, but you have Tito's Tacos right there. There are pockets between Culver and Del Rey that you'd kind of want to ask someone where exactly you are, such as myself. If this is your first time on my channel, by the way, I have a real estate sales and marketing team out here on the west side of LA. We do a lot of new construction, remodels, and we help clients buy, sell, and invest in property out here every single day. So let me know if you have any questions on that. Let's go down Allen here because there are some nice remodeled homes i was just at on allen you got a single family right there you got a large driveway look at you could fit three four cars in this driveway that is a home you'd see on a on a movie on a, maybe a disney movie right there let's keep on going here down allen this is a unique styled home Let me, what do you guys think of the home of this uh, color by the way it looks like the mcdonald's home not sure exactly what that is or what that means but Yes, yeah, so that's the map of the neighborhoods. Let's get into the Zillow now to see what these are priced at. Let's zoom in some of these Delray neighborhoods. As you can see, 2.5 million will get you this beautiful, modern, remodeled home. As you can see, it's a remodel. These are the old photos of the house. And then what did that sell for? 2.5, two years ago. So a little bit, a little longer ago, but then we have this one sold this year. Nice farmhouse. And these are the more expensive ones. So we're going to go now to the newer ones, the ones that have just sold. This one, 1.7 sold in September. Look at that. Single family remodel. That is, these are some nice photos. You got a large yard here. You don't see yards that of that big of size. That's one thing. The front yards may be pretty decent size, but then when you go into the back, it's a little smaller. You're not going to find that many pools either. 2.3 million We'll get you this three bed, three bath, 1900 square feet. That is a solid home. Anything under 2 million, you're getting a good deal if it is something that you can consider yourself living in and is not a remodel like this. I'm sure this one went quick. A lot of people are looking for single story homes with a gate. Um, and this was a full remodel job that was also done. What else do we got here? 1.7 just closed. Now look at that. That is a massive size yard. Now let's see where that is. That's in a solid neighborhood, just right in the Culver Garden area. And then you have Culver West just north, and then the Del Rey area just south. But as I said, there are pockets. You gotta know exactly the pocket that you're in, such as if you keep going east, Clarkdale is okay, Park West, and then north, you might not wanna be on this side of Palms. But as I said, depends the intersections, the cross streets you're at. Just ask if you have any questions. 1.8 million will get you this. That's almost a thousand a foot. That's what we're seeing here in these pockets. Around a thousand a foot is what the homes are going for when they are priced correctly at this time, at least in uh, in the world, in the real estate market. So in my world, at least. So that is it. Look at that. 1.8 million, 2.10. 
And that's what the homes are looking like. Let's go back to the map here. So basically, as I said, I'm not gonna make this video too long, but proximity to Marina del Rey, to Venice, you can walk there for most of these neighborhoods, which is insane for this specific pocket. Also being right next to Venice uh, Boulevard and then the 405 and then LAX, Playa Vista, Playa del Rey, you can get to the 10 easy to go to Beverly Hills, West Hollywood. And for the prices that these homes are at and the remodels that, that people are doing to these homes, it is a very, it is a hidden gem. That's all I really can describe it as because you don't see pockets like this all over the west side because um, you're getting the best of both worlds, the best of all worlds. If you still want to be a west side individual, but you don't want all the craziness of being in touristy spots. So let me know what you guys thought of this video. Let me know what you guys think of this specific pocket. If you have any other questions, reach out to me. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what other neighborhoods you want me to touch on. As well, as I said, my name is Darren Kriz. I have a real estate sales team and marketing agency out here. We help clients buy, sell, and invest in property every single day. If you have any questions, contact us down below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.